2023 corn has started to sprout in Iowa, northern Iowa. Good morning from the corn pile that will not go away. Between train waiting on trains, weather, super cold weather to rain, back to snow, back to rain. Now the corn is uh, condition is not improving, which is slowing up the dumping process. So yeah, it's a corn pile that won't go away. I think this is week four, going on week five. I think we got like a million bushels to go yet, just under a million. So it'll be nice to get done before we have to be in the field. We've got more corn art today. That last rain soaked in and now it's frozen. The temperature swings up here in northern Iowa have been really severe this winter. 40s to 20 below and then rain, then snow, then rain. We go from frozen ground to mud and you run it all up and then it freezes again crazy 2023 corn has started to sprout in Iowa northern Iowa looks like good stand good germination Not good when it's a corn pile though. Greasing. Got a break from the pile. I say these Lumax connectors are work really good too. I like them better than the spring loaded ones. These come off no matter what you do, get pressure on them or not, you just flip that and it comes right off. Well, that's really kind of nice. Lock it on and let her go. Things are shaking. Probably over greasing this a little bit, but the extra is better than none. of Chevy to put a light on here to let you know that the engine is still here. Engine is here light. Good deal. This right here is how our winter has been all winter. Just solid ice between the bins. Just sliding around. Fall down, break a hip. Checking bins today to see what I got left for corn. Climbing bins and checking, see what we got left to sell. I don't know how other people do it, but if there's five rings with an inverted cone in the middle, I count it as four rings left. Because it and it usually comes out really close because that one ring that's not completely level full, if you take that ring and leveled it off, you'd be down one ring. So Five rings with inverted. I figure there's four level left. That's the way I figure it. It's been pretty close. Morning. Out checking fields. We've had a lot of rain on the frozen ground. And 
water's starting to go down, but more coming. Talking six to nine inches of snow. In this ditch here, we're supposed to get this clean this spring. Dip it out again. We got our trees all taken out on our side. There's a few on the neighbor side yet. Holding back a lot of water. So hopefully we can get that cleaned out. So far it's looking like it's going to be a wet spring. Morning, March 7th. Fields are uh, getting pretty bare. But the weatherman says, nope, not yet. I'm going to send you another 8 to 9 inches of snow Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So that is not good news. But but I was, I'd let you know that, uh, well, Max wants to drive, see. Just going to let you know what I can get myself, what trouble I can get myself into. I had a local co-op call me. I had a operator that left, a spraying operator, so they called me to see if, uh, I wanted to fill in, help fill in. So I'm on my way down to sign papers on that. So we added more work for this spring. Uh, Thursday today, yeah. Meeting at the local co-op for a marketing meeting and their predictions of what the year is gonna be like. So I'm gonna go to that this morning. And on the pile front, they are full of out of space for the pile corn till the train comes in and that's supposed to be here Saturday Saturday morning so I guess we'll have to see if we run this weekend or wait till Monday just a quick update on what's going on around the farm it's been crop insurance week I uh, decided what I'm doing with that and getting a filter list ready for the open house at the Case IH days so we can get a discount on that. A um, little bit of book work. Other than that, it's been kind of a slow week. I don't have any grain sold, which I wish I did, but I don't, so. Well, our new Ranger tires came in today. They came in and they mounted them for me. So we can get them on now. Get the Ranger back. We picked rocks last spring and the corn stalks pretty much ate them alive so time for some new ones plugs don't work very well in these tires and we got them on ready to roll all garbage and pick rocks and go we'll get the mail back to winter things white Three, four inches of snow. We had almost all the snow melt and the yard was just starting to dry up. But I guess it is early March. It's just when you get to March, you think it should be spring. It's been a long winter. We want to get to the field. Well, this is what we're dealing with. We got soft mud underneath three four inches of snow so the blade on the pickup is definitely not going to work today see all the mud going up through there i think we're just going to have to let this one melt unless i want all the rock pushed to the sides cement works good but that cleans up fairly well the joys of winter Hard to do one-handed. Snow in the wagons. It's never a good time.
Sorry about the dirty windows. This is today's project, moving more corn out of this north bin back to the train loadouts. Making hot laps again today, transferring grain. Hope we don't get the wagon stuck in the... It looks like uh, where we turn around there is all mud. I can just see us burying a wagon out here. The frost is starting to go out. Of course we got snow on. I don't think snow on top, so it's nice and slimy. As you can see, no pile work today. More snow in the pile. More snow tomorrow, Saturday. Rain on Monday and snow on next Wednesday, so it's not looking good for the future of the corn pile. The sooner we can get it up, the better. Waiting on trains.